In the latest round of Chinese trade obstructions, fish farmers producing four-finger thread fin have been left with thousands of tons of the fish to sell. The Pingdong County government has said it will help fish farmers who want to transition to making processed fish products rather than just exporting frozen fish. The Council of Agriculture said it is also doing everything it can to find new international markets for the fish and suggested producers to sell to several markets and not just rely on one market. Let's hear from the producers and officials. Four-finger threadfin is removed from baskets and packed into plastic foam containers for delivery. Last week, China suspended imports of this fish without warning, hurting Pingdong fishers, who produce most of Taiwan's four-finger threadfin. People will inevitably be nervous or scared, but so far, prices have remained stable. We mostly market toward Hong Kong and mainland China, but now there's only Hong Kong. The domestic market is already too saturated. If we were to stop exporting and just sell in the domestic market, the price of the fish would definitely be impacted. Producers of four-finger thread fins say the domestic market for the fish is limited. There are 4,200 metric tons of the fish still waiting to be sold, 80 percent of which was produced in Pingdong County. The Council of Agriculture said it has already drafted response measures. For example, this year we will be selling at least 5,000 metric tons. Last year and the year before, we also sold an additional 3,000 metric tons domestically. We've already greatly reduced the ratio of exports. We will put our full effort into developing other markets. Hoping to ease the concerns of fishers, the COA is looking at other international markets for the fish. Meanwhile, the Pingdong County government is offering subsidies to fishers and providing assistance to those interested in making processed fish products. We want to help our industries make the transition. You can't rely fully on a single market. Fishers can sell their fish to several international markets and at the same time diversify their domestic marketing through processed products to adapt for the future. Officials hope farmers of fresh fish can adapt to a changing market by making processed fish products like pre-seasoned fish for supermarket shelves and snacks made from dried and salted fish. Whatever fish farmers decide, it is clear that they cannot continue relying on the Chinese market exclusively.